Hey guys, Rubles here, and today I'm going to show you how to install a custom ROM on your Xperia Neo device or any other Xperia of the lineup or any Android. First of all, I am not reliable. If your phone messes up or if you break it, you your phone should be on a custom run kernel but it doesn't have to and make sure your bootloader is unlocked if these two are that means you want to use already void and I am not reliable for any problems also if you're in the Xperia Neo make sure you download this custom firmware and install that before you install a ROM this is because this custom firmware has more memory available because newer ROMs need more memory available also make sure you have a kernel flash drive, uh, well kernel which has CWM mode, clockwork mode recovery and yeah let's get started so first of all the, zip, the ROM I'm going to be installing is called Jelly Dream so what we need to do first is a factory reset as you can see this is the fourth option I managed to uh, fix the focus on this webcam miraculously so it works now so we'll ask you if you want to uh, do it click yes uh, the kernel I'm using is called the uh, night elf kernel uh, so yep as you can see it's doing it now and uh, the bomb's gonna say factory reset is complete after it so uh, go uh, after it's done it'll take you to the back to the front menu what you do next is click on mount and storage and do format system so format system yes format the system so run this done so go back after set for after format system is complete and you have done a factory reset click on advanced and white delivery cache uh, hit yes and again try and get an angle on this uh, yeah, white delivery white delivery white cache yeah. yeah he has finished doing that after he's done that go back once and click install zip from SD card and choose zip from SD card which is the first option just go to where you locate it in your memory card make sure the zip is in your memory card and just click it this will install with Aurora installer by the way so uh, yep so it's gonna ask you don't install it choose yes and then uh, it will go and install it and if, you, if you're wondering how you use clockwork, clockwork, clockwork mode recovery you just use down and up uh, select key your home key to select and as you can see it's a jelly dream mod so I could choose the theme layout for this uh, for the installation I'm just going to choose the default one I'm going to hit next this is the agreements for the jelly dream which the user has given you could just agree at the bottom I agree next and then click on install jelly dream rom as you, it's going to say the version name Oops, uh, version name. Click next. Change log. Uh, new things have been added to this version, the 2.5 version, the one I'm using at the moment. Well, installing at the moment. Choose a device. Select your device. As you can see, list of devices. I'm on the Neo. Uh, if you install this firmware, make sure you choose the Neo. Then you could choose your options such as uh, a keyboard, all that kind of stuff. So uh, I'm just going to choose this now. Just give me a minute, guys. I'm gonna try and make this all Xperia style <coughs> since I like the Xperia Xperia Z theme uh, leave the clock as it is buttons uh, well leave it how it is as well then the lock screen Xperia S so after I've done that you can see uh, selected a few options after you done that click on next the green button and it's gonna ask you to use to customize so you could select some stuff to install here as well uh, browsers all that kind of stuff uh, so 
You should wondering, yes I have bricked my phone many times in the past. Uh, it was a scary matter, however to fix it all you do is flash the original ROM on it, uh, firm on it and I'll give a link to that so you guys can do it. As you can see I've installed, well, I need to tick the gallery kind of stuff, uh, so I'm going to click next, next again. And uh, it's going to say press install to begin installing, install. So it's going to install the ROM, this does take quite a while. As he's installing, uh, <coughs> this does take quite a while. And as I said, if your phone does get bricks, like when it's a Sony and it goes to a black screen or your phone turns on, turns off, just flash the original firmware. I'll post a link to all the original firmwares, there will be ADFLY links. So um, I'm sorry if it's like you just click on it, five seconds, skip as that's it. So, yeah, isn't that hard to do? This doesn't take too long to install. What you do is uh, you connect your phone. Uh, open flash tool which you install to your C drive I'll give some instructions for it and you just click on flash mode uh, it asks you to put your phone in flash mode it shows you how to do it then you just select the firmware and you install it that's it and your phone should be back up to normal if that does not work if your phone is bricked that is if it is bricked if the ROM works then that's fine you don't have to do it but if it is bricked then go to XDA developers and they'll help you so when you see 95 percent it's gonna install some custom stuff that you have selected uh, also no uh, it takes quite a while to start at first not too long but uh, probably five minutes around that time so It's just installing the stuff now, and it's gonna use the device, <coughs> all that kind of stuff. See the gallery, the customization I've chosen, all that stuff, which I have chosen to do, you know, Jelly Bean stuff and uh, Xperia Z theme. Gonna say when it's done, it's gonna say finished, and you hit the green button, which is next. All right, this bit is quite crucial. Where this is reboot device here, untick it. It should go white. This is with Aurora installers. With most ones, uh, they give you instructions to do this. If not, but with this one, you have to. Uh, it's gonna say that click uh, finish. It's gonna take you back to clock up mode recover me so what you do now is you go back go to advanced and click on fix permissions hit that and it's gonna say installed from SD card complete and that is fix permissions I don't know why you need to do that but with most rooms you do go back and then uh, first option which is reboot options click on that click on reboot system now <coughs> phone will reboot this is uh, will take quite long as I mentioned before probably like I don't know 10 minutes 5 minutes this video is quite long so I might you know oh <laughs> look I get closer oh focuses my yeah, um, yeah this video is quite long as I mentioned before so uh, I might cut it down to parts as you can see there's a new boot logo usually it says uh what was it uh, xperia now it's the jelly bean kind of thing this does take quite a while guys so yeah i might split up to three parts if it's 15 minutes i'll go along with the setup all that kind of stuff uh also make sure with some roms uh they do take quicker so don't be too uh, you know, surprised by that. I have installed this from about four times an hour just to check the settings out and all that. It's probably going to be my final time. Uh, I mean, I just wanted to check the settings out. And if, if I mean four times, if you work four times in a row, should work for you guys first time round. It is quite nerve wracking, I have to say, since I have messed up my phone in the past with you know bricked for bricked phone, all that kind of you know hooliganness but I found my own way to fix it which is flashing the firmware 
as I said before. Also, um, with uh, actually, for what I was gonna say, well, we'll just let this slow down and let my mind try to recapture what I was trying to say. <coughs> uh, well, honestly, I can't remember what I was gonna say. I had it in my head. Well, uh, yeah, as I said, it does take quite a long while for the first boot. And with, I think, uh, I forgot, honestly, I forgot. If I remember, I would have told you guys, but yeah, I think I was some weird kind of deja vu. But yeah, once it's loaded, the usual Android setup will come up. We've known Aurora uh, setups. Usually, from there, you just install it. Well, I mean, wherever you download it from, make sure you have that page open on your computer or on a separate phone or on a laptop or if you're in the library so you could follow the extra instructions they gave some of them after they do it. They don't ask you to do fixed permission with this from they did, so yeah, you don't have to. Also, uh, I know this a bit in the video, make sure you have a backup. I might put annotation in the beginning of the video, and as you can see, it came. So it's gonna come with the welcome screen. Uh, plenty of battery life, you have plenty of battery life. Make sure you have a lot of battery as well. Uh, choose your language. So I'm um, United Kingdom since I live in London. And it's going to uh, ask you for your time zone, which I'm going to do now. Uh, with most from the steps are quite different, but the usual Android setup, everyone most likely knows how it looks. So I've done that, as you can see. Next, it's gonna ask you to sign into uh, Google Chrome. I'll just uh, do it now. Uh, I'll do it later. So I'll just show you guys the theme. Oh, the thing uh, is gonna say, Who does this phone belong to? Of course, you'll write your name. Uh, the keyboard does work. Uh, if you're installing the ROM, I'm using the Jelly Dream ROM. And make sure you only choose one keyboard, or a keyboard doesn't work. That happened to me first time. I chose two keyboards, didn't work. So, let's see some stuff like Google service. Uh, yeah, I really don't care about this. And then setup is complete. Hooray! Hooray! Click on the finish button. And as you can see, this is the theme preloaded on the phone. Loading is loading up. Jelly Dream Ramen, yeah, there you go. Uh, go through it. Um, as you can see, quite a simple ROM. A bit of animation when you, when I switch this way. Uh, here's the options up. Oops, open some random crap up. Yeah, go back. So as you can see, uh, that would be it, guys. So as you can see, it's functioning. So yeah, that'll be it. So thanks for watching. Please do like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hopefully this has helped. Check out my giveaway. And yeah, this has been Rubzg on how to install a ROM on your phone. See you guys. Hopefully this works. Peace. I think that's how do it a bit weird. Yeah, see you guys.